So Katrina and I have been friends and music collaborators for quite a few years now. We both met uh, when our daughters were in preschool, what, like three years old, two years old, something like that? I think that is when I had just finished recording my first CD. Oh, right, right. And I needed to start a band because I had a song and a film that was premiering at Sundance Film Festival. So I contacted you and said, please help. Let's put a band together. That was our first gig. That was our first gig. The Sundance Film Festival. No no pressure. No, no pressure. And we've been doing creative (laughs) things and music things ever since. Right. Yeah. Let's just get to know each other a little bit. We want to certainly want to get to know you as well through uh, your emails and your comments on our YouTube channel. And we'll talk more about that in a second. But right now, Katrina, because I know you to be a crazy, amazing human. um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, can I? Yes. And you can ask me questions too. I think. Where were you born? Oh. I kind of know some of this, I but I would like that. you guys to know it. Okay. Where were you born and what was your family like growing okay. up? Okay. Okay. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona in a hospital, just kind of like, <laughs> like that. Like a normal yeah, person. Yeah, like a normal person. Um, grew up in a suburb called Paradise Valley. And I was the youngest of 11 kids. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I just want to make sure you heard that right. <laughs> Not the fifth or the seventh, yeah. the eleventh. Yeah, so I was the youngest. I, I perpetually think I did. I'm they a, even know your name? Uh, not hey, really. You. It hey, was like uh, 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 Sophia, <laughs> Cecilia, Teresa, Mariana. Oh yeah, Katrina. So Katrina. any of you out there with big families, yeah. maybe you can relate uh, to this. Yeah. Go ahead. We were two blended families. Uh, my my father's first wife passed away. He married my mom when the youngest was eighteen months old, and we mm. just kept going. My eldest brother, like the very the very number one boy, is. 19 and a half years older than I am. And then there were four little girls at the end. And so we were the four little girls, my sister, Sophia, Cecilia, Teresa, and then me, Katrina. And we all had the middle name Marie because we were from, guess what, a Catholic family. (laughs) And you always had to have, apparently I learned this later, you had to have like uh, Mary's name in your name. And Marie is the French version of Mary. It's funny you say that because Marie is my middle name. No, I'm (laughs) kidding. And I know you're dying to ask, so I'm just going to tell you. Yeah, so please. I was like, okay, (laughs) tell me no. (laughs) So I was born in Ohio. O-H. I-O. Thank you. (laughs) She's married to an Ohio guy. One of seven. So I can't compete with 11, but seven. So that's two families as well. Uh, And I'm the oldest. uh, And you're the youngest, right? See, it's meant to be. There's some sort of psychological thing going on here, I'm sure. Uh, And then my folks divorced and then we moved to Chicago. So I guess I'm kind of like uh, dual citizenship because I grew up in Chicago and Ohio. And so for anybody out there who comes from a blended family, divorced family, Yay, you. <laughs> and if you come from a family where you're together, yay, you. Yes. So you're all welcome here. How did you develop a sense of empathy for peace, people in your experiences, so much so that you want to highlight the good being done in the world now? I was very sickly as a kid. Wow. I had... Um, asthma really badly and they really didn't know how to treat it back then so I was you know constantly struggling with being sick and not being able to breathe it was really rough and so I really learned to have a heart for people you know because I was I kind of suffered a lot as right, a kid right. so I think that's maybe that's where I got it and just you know growing up and then my education and in college you know just really I really was interested in, in doing community service and I, I did a lot of that in high school and, and college. So that's kind of a theory I have is that, you know, if you go through rough times, you look for people who may be going through rough times, too, and you want to try to go, hey, I understand or I want to yeah. pick you up. Right. So right. I know, like for me, I suffered with I still do suffer from depression. You wouldn't oh, know that. No, I'm you wouldn't. Quite a bubbly way, guy. I know. But uh, but I've learned to treat it. OK. And so one of the things that I found is that having been a sufferer of depression, you do look for people who maybe have that limitation and are going through the same yeah, circumstance yeah. so that you can say I get it let's talk how can I help right? that's that amazing kind of thing. yeah thank you for um sharing. so okay since we're launching this <laughs> and uh, we want to bring you in at the process right yeah, from the beginning yeah, yeah. let me ask you what do you hope our lovely viewers, listeners will get out of Crazy Amazing Humans. Well, of course, we want to inspire people. We want people to feel not alone. You know, I I want people to understand. I'm just dying because you just said that you have this, you struggle with these bouts of depression. I was raised by a father who was bipolar. So, um, you know, I have this in my life as well. So these are things that we we all have our challenges. I I want everyone to see our stories and our challenges and say, you know what? I can do this. I can get through this. And that's why we want to focus on 
everyday people, like not these people who are like unattainable and they're stars or they're celebrities and look at what they're doing because it kind of feels like they have an uneven playing field. And that's, we're not, we're everyday people and we're trying to make something of our lives. I want other people to know that they can do that too, that we want to make a difference. Uh, so that's a little bit about us, but we definitely want to hear from you and get to know you as well. Email us your questions and comments at uh, crazyamazinghumans at gmail.com. I want you to feel something crazy, crazy, amazing. Here are some of our guests from recent episodes. Welcome, Dr. Tom Katina and Ken Carlson. You see the film, The Heart of Nuba, uh, and he's frenetic. The guy's just constantly going. I mean, one day uh, he had, I think, 17 cases in OR. I mean, 17 cases, cases like two, amputation, two amputations, uh, lacerations, a woman had a you know shrapnel on her eye, and afterwards he hustled back to clean the solar panels because electricity was needed for the next day's you know uh, needs in the hospital. I went in and I got this story. I left. Right. Tom stays. Right. Karen Hawkins, uh, wife, mom of two teenage boys. You started a warrior's fight on Instagram and Facebook? When they went in that surgery that they saw all the cancer lesions and they said I lit up like a Christmas tree. I cried for a little bit, but it was that time too. I knew my journey was to share my cancer experience, everything I want, the cancer patient goes through. I want you to 